Hi, this is a little spotlight about some of the changes we've introduced in the last release. And a lot of things happened. I only want to outline the control and UI changes we have done. And for that I'll just play through one of the brand new tutorials. The third one where you learn to construct, I think. And yeah, I will play through it and outline some of the things that changed. Okay. I will just skip over the dialogues because, um, yeah. One of the things is that we have a new UI system. Scripter or objects can show custom UI layouts and custom UI windows like this one. Um, it's not it's, it's not very specular this one, but there's a new unified um, interaction menu where you can for example access your inventory do other things like that interact with buildings check the power on the wind generator and produce items stuff like that to open it i can press the e button and right now i only see myself here and the surrounding tab which allows me to interact or pick up items that are scattered around me and on the left side I can select one of the available things and see what whatever I can do with that. And on the right side I can select another. I cannot select the same here and there, that's why they are crossed out. I can select another thing and, well, for example, transfer items between them. So I can just click on my shovel and, because it's a, the surrounding tab, I can put it on the ground. And, yeah, a good thing is that I can now um, see the description for every item which used to be pretty hard to achieve in the old version where you have had to wait for the tooltip in some menu and you didn't even know that it existed and stuff like that so um, I'll take my shovel back close the menu and yeah, another thing you might have noticed is that the UI changed a bit. We moved the inventory slots from the left hand side of the screen to the upper side. And um, yeah, the two hand controls are gone. That means I cannot put the shovel in the left or the right hand, but I have only one. With the left click I can use the shovel and with the right click I can throw it away. That had some reasons and I wrote about them multiple times so I will not repeat myself here again. Another thing that changed is how you pick up items. Previously you either had to press into the direction of the ground, so when you were scaling you had to press to the wall and when you were walking you had to press down, when you were swimming you couldn't pick up anything at all because yeah whatever. And and you or or you had to have an free hand. So you had to have an item slot selected where no item was currently. That's different. I can walk over the shovel and not collect it. And only when I hit shift I can select one of the items around me and collect it. If there were multiple items maybe I can collect the rock through the ground here. No. So I'll collect my shovel, dig a bit, drop it by pressing shift and the hotkey button 2 here. And now there are two items next to each other and when I hold shift I can select one. That means if I have for example a gold mine where I have a lot of gold and a lot of rocks scattered around I can only pick up the gold either here by selecting it and then press and then releasing the button or I can um, pick up all the things around me by press by holding shift and then pressing up or another thing I can obviously use the surrounding tab here. So if I have a mine where I have 30 rocks and one chunk of gold, I can just open the surrounding tab and select that one chunk of gold and collect it. I can also use those two buttons here to get all of the items in the other in the other window here. So I can just transfer everything in and out at once. Okay, I have actually have to follow the tutorial a bit to advance. So what what do we need to do? We need to finish this sawmill. That's where I can show another thing about the interaction menu, which currently only help the inventory, because 
If I open it, I can see everything I can do with that construction site. So I can see its inventory, like in the surrounding tab here. But I can also see what is missing. I can stop the construction if that wasn't tutorial. I could stop it. And if I had anything else I could do, I could do it here. So it's basically the new way to access things. Okay, so I need to find some rock to finish the construction. Um, hello, Hubert. Oh, another thing. Um, interactions, like grabbing lorry, calling an elevator, um, whatever more there is. I can execute them similarly to how I collect items. So I already said that I can collect items with shift and select one of the items around me and similarly I can select an interaction. So instead of shift I hold space and then I see what I can do. I could speak to Hubert and when pressing down I abort the selection process. When I select left right I could switch to other things around me. Um, currently there are none. And if the if Hubert here had multiple things I could do with him um, I could press up, so W, to switch between them. For example, in a catapult I can select to either grab it or enter it and finally fling myself. Um, yeah, that's chest with a hammer, nice. I don't need it at the moment, I think. Um, so I'll just follow the arrows here into the mine. So there's a lorry filled with dynamite. You can access the contents of many vehicles and buildings by pressing E. Nice, I already explained that. And so I just take the stuff. Instead of using this, these two buttons here to grab everything, I can also select an item and hold shift and click to get everything of that item. Closing with E and then I have to... A few pieces of rock. Yeah, I... I'm not as far yet, okay. I think I have to blow up the rock here. I need three pieces of rock, so I'll just stash the dynamite here and... Um, for example, now I could stand here, hold shift and press W to select everything I can around me. And now I have the rock and go back to the construction site. Another thing, um, for example, the crew, now if you have multiple clones, more than two, it's handled in a little bit different way. You see, you see your primary clonk here and the secondary clonk there, and more are listed below that. I can basically open a little tab here and select the other crew members. Okay, I use the construction menu to put the rocks into the construction site. And now I have a working sawmill and I have to talk to this fireman. Yeah, like that. Whips. Oh yeah, in the last release we added some new animals, including the famous whip from Klong 4, I think. Or even earlier. Okay, I have to collect... Uh, okay, I'll talk to that guy first. <clears throat> okay, now the tutorial explains the power system to me. Nothing changed there, nothing major. So I'll not, um, I'll not explain how it works now. Open the construction. Ah, yeah. Um, there were many things where the new menus or the new menu system are now used. For example, the hammer. When I press left mouse, I can. Yeah, I have my great building menu where everything I can build is shown. It's not not very much right now, but in a real round I'd have all my buildings here. And when I hover over it I get a preview and a description, I see the coast and if if it needed any power for example I could also see that here. So I'll just build a flagpole probably where the arrow points to. Um, yeah, yep. sounds good. Need some wood and metal. Talk to the lumberjack again. Uh, first, I want to show you one of the new plants here: cotton, and the new animal, the whip. 
very cute, isn't it? And yeah. We also have a new goals menu here where I can show where I can see what my current goal is, which is not very interesting in that tutorial. Um let me check. A lot of other things have changed. For example, um, previously, if I clicked something, if, if I tried to use an item at the wrong time, for example, if I tried to dig when jumping, if I used a bow and arrow while scaling, while tripping, whatever, the actual, actual action never executed. So I had to press again when I was ready. So for example, if I had clicked my shovel while jumping, or falling and hit the ground, I would never shovel. That's not changed, so when I use something and I can't, it will be used, if I still hold the button, it will be used whenever it's ready. So that's a little bit more lenient and allows for a little bit more, uh, yeah, a little bit more, a little bit less frustration, I'd say. Okay, now I have to chop a tree, but I find the eggs in the mine. All right, so I'll just head down there again. Oh, this is, by the way, a producer. That means I can produce something here and I quickly want to show how that looks. So I have the interaction menu where I can find everything, as I said, and here I can produce stuff. So I can select, um, I want one metal whenever I have the materials for it. Or I can, with holding shift, like it says here, I can produce metal whenever possible. So I can also select two of them and they will switch between producing metal and gold. All right, um, find the eggs in the mine and use it to chop down a tree. Okay, I will. Any eggs here? No. Huh. Ah, here it is. Um, okay. Um, some buildings are a little bit special, like the sawmill, which is a producer, but I can't select anything because it can produce only wood. And the wind generator, which shows me how how decent the location is. So, for example, how many, how much tunnel I have around it, how much solid material, and basically tells me how well I build it. I will not chop that. Oops. Oh, I didn't say anything about the quick switch button. So, um, for example, one of the things where the old control system thing was useful was the sword and shield situation. So you like had a sword and a shield and tried to switch between them. This is admittedly a situation or the only situation where the old system was better. But um, there's a new quick switch button, which is Q, Q. And when I press it, I switch between the last and the current item. So if I had a bow and a shield and I had selected them in succession, I could switch back and forth between them. Which allows me, if I can, if I get used to the controls, it allows me to also change between them pretty quickly. I can also change between the number keys. If I have two things that are not adjacent, like the wood and the hammer, I can switch between them. And once you are used to it, it's actually pretty comfortable, or at least pretty decently usable. Okay, what do I want to do? I want to build this here. Uh, you probably saw that I used the put all button now instead of selecting the wood. And I can do that because it will only put the, but, uh, the items in there which I can actually put in. So no big surprise there. Ah, another thing. Um, the collection. If I have a rock and two wood here, and I have two inventory slots free, and I select wood and press W to collect all, it will first, with a higher priority, collect the wood. So if I stand here, it will, for example, not collect one lock and the rock, but it, would, it will collect the two locks, which I try right now, and yes, I did not promise too much. Okay, so the flagpole just needs some metal, and I think it 
yeah, the guy tells me now I need metal, this can be produced in foundry using ore and coal. I will try that. I have neither ore nor coal. Oh, another thing, uh, we added a few items, like the lamp, and you probably know the light system changed a bit. Anyway, um, we added some new items and a lot of new stuff, so a re really a lot of things happened. And I want to throw it away and blow up everything. Anyway, uh, I need some metal, which I, uh, the coal I can just dig out. I don't need the wood anymore, I'll take to coal. And obviously I can use the menu to um, the, the, the sides of the menu, the sidebar, to select between different things. So ex for example if I had a lorry and I had it in front of the foundry, I could um, open the menu on the left hand side, select the lorry, which is now my surrounding tab, and then transfer stuff from the lorry to the foundry. So it's a lot more comfortable than it was before, because before you had some weird th circles and you never knew what would happen if you clicked an item. Whether it would go to this circle or to this one, no one knew. I didn't either. I think it was like counterclockwise. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get some ore here. I think I need only one. And put it in there. And now I have to select what I want to produce. I want to produce one piece. Of, I, I want to produce whenever I can metal. That is. And now I'm producing metal. And once it's done, it will be ejected here. Thank you. And now I have a flagpole. Oh, well, that was it actually. I highlighted a few things about the new menus and controls. I also did not say some things, like a new role that you can call the elevator when below it, stuff like that. But I guess that there are so many things I cannot say all of them. And this should be a decent intro about what we did and what the new controls offer. So yeah, see you in game I'd say.